Hey guys, welcome back to our Urban Homestead. My name is Chelsea, if you're new here, welcome. So glad you're here. Um, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notifica notification bell so you don't miss anything. I've got some squash here that um, needs getting preserved, so that's what I'm working on. And I'm also gonna show you guys a really, really delicious way to preserve some of your tomatoes that are on the smaller side. Um, so stick around for that recipe, it's delicious. No, it's not salsa, it's not canning, it's um, oh, so yummy. It literally tastes like a pizza, little pizza slice in your mouth. Uh, so for this squash, what I'm gonna do is I'm just looking for any blemishes like that and I'm just gonna take my peeler and peel those off. And I'm gonna try my spiralizer. I've never done it with yellow squash. I have done it with zucchini, works wonderfully. But since yellow squash is a bit meatier, I don't know if it's gonna work. So I'm gonna try one see if that works and if it does that's what i'm going to do with the rest of this if it doesn't work well then i'm just going to cube it and freeze it so let me grab my spiralizer and we'll test that out all right so let's see if this will work these things are great i got this a couple years ago you can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut this little piece off, I think. You can do potatoes and carrots and all the yummy vegetables. I am choosing to do a thick spiral. So let's see. This will just go to the chickens. They will be happy with that. So doesn't look doesn't look too bad. And what you can do with these is um, you can make like use them as pasta. So what I would suggest if you're gonna do that is cover them with uh, and sprinkle them with salt. Let them set for, oh, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. And what that's going to do is pull a lot of the moisture out so they don't get mushy when you go to um, cook them up in your pan. And then obviously rinse them. And then you can just saute them in a little olive oil or butter or whatever you want to do. And then use these for your spaghetti noodles. Yum. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of these done and um, I'll be back for that delicious tomato recipe. Okay, so now on to the tomatoes. I've got, I don't know, what's three, six, I've got nine tomatoes here. I could probably do more. Um, and all I'm gonna do is core them. And then if they have like any cracking spots, you want to cut those away. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to uh, be right back. 
Now we're just going to slice them. Let's, can you see them right there? Yes. Just gonna slice them. Um, I might put that into my veggie scrap bowl. If you're, when you're working with your produce and if you have chickens, um, I highly recommend having a bowl out that you can put any scraps in. Um, like this will all get shredded up in the food processor and my chickens will thoroughly enjoy it and they're gonna make me eggs and compost with that. Uh, about that thick. So I'm gonna get the rest of these sliced and laid onto my dehydrator tray. I wanna do this now because I'm gonna be making sauces and salsa really soon and ketchup and these were so so good the past two years and if i don't do this now i'm going to forget and that would be a big bummer because i'm telling you what these are such a great snack and um you know they're very healthy and it's just a wonderful wonderful way to enjoy your summer tomatoes. So I'll be back. All right, so now all we do is we're gonna sprinkle these with garlic powder and Italian seasoning, no salt. And just give it a light sprinkle. You don't need too much. These honestly taste like a little slice of pizza in your mouth. I think I made, oh, three quart fulls of these last year and they did not last very long, especially uh, once my mom tasted them. <laughs> All right, I think I've got garlic on all of them. And then some Italian seasoning. Again, very lightly. And then when these dehydrate, they just, oh, they get so sweet. That tomato flavor just concentrates and then with that Italian seasoning and the garlic powder, I mean, I'm telling you guys right now, if you don't love it, money back guarantee. <laughs> it's so good. Um, and then also you can do, um, if you don't want the, to just eat them as they are, you can soak them. Um, and olive oil after they come out. I did that. I gave those away in my gift baskets last year. So it's like a, almost like a sun dried, but you know, not by the sun. Um, sun dried tomatoes and olive oil. And then you can use those in recipes and the oil has a wonderful flavor of its own. All right, so those are gonna go into the dehydrator and um, I'll have to finish this video when they come out. They should be done by this evening because it's early morning still. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I've got celery in the dehydrator. I've got this bag of shredded yellow squash. This is gonna get turned into mock pineapple. I'm freezing it for now until I can find a good deal on pineapple juice because um, I, I actually could probably turn it into mock apple, um, shredded apples, because I do have apple juice. So maybe I'll do that instead because I have the apple juice on hand. Pineapple juice is pretty expensive right now. 
So that wouldn't be very cost effective. So I think, yep, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So that'll be a video soon. And then these are the spiralized ones. And these are gonna go in my freezer as well. So yellow squash, done. Um, celery, done. <laughs> Let's see, cabbage is next. My lovely daughter has been helping me do all the shredding and chopping. Um, so that's really nice if you have kids that want to help. And even at almost 18, she enjoys doing the preservation stuff with me, which I just absolutely love. And I'm going to take you to show you how many sweet potatoes I was gifted. Um, they just had such an abundance of them. And so the blessing was passed on to me. So I'm going to take you and show you just how many I have to get canned. It's a good thing that we love sweet potatoes. Yes, folks, those are two big boxes of sweet potatoes. Oh my goodness, look how gorgeous they are though. I mean, they're huge. I mean, how can you not feel blessed with that? So those will be a separate video. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have time to get to those today. Plus, um, for people who have never canned sweet potatoes before, I would like to um, do a video on that. So isn't that amazing? Such a blessing and I could not be more thankful. All right guys, so the tomatoes are done. You guys have to try this. We love them. Um, I'm gonna try to not eat all of these tonight. <laughs> but the, I mean, they're also just absolutely beautiful. I know the lighting's horrible in here. I wanna eat it so bad. All right, I'm not going to. Um, definitely try to do your tomatoes this way. If you don't have a dehydrator, you can also um, do this with no electricity. You can put them on a clean screen, like, you know, like window screen. Please wash it first though. Um, and then set it in the sun. Make sure it gets good ventilation underneath and then just like cover it with Cover the top of the screen with a tea towel. That way the flies and stuff don't get on it. But you can do this completely with uh, no electricity as well. I'm telling you right now, you guys, once you try these, you're going to absolutely love them. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. Welcome all the new subscribers. I'm so glad to have you here. Please make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And until next time, abundance and blessings to you. Bye-bye.